Gluten can be a cruel, cruel mistress. It's part of many of the best things in life, like cake, bagels, pizzas, and pasta, but can end up making some people sick. Hi, viewers, and welcome back to Bestie. Gluten intolerance is a fairly common problem. It's an autoimmune disease that affects about 1% of the population. It occurs when your body cannot tolerate the gluten found in wheat, barley, or rye. It causes an autoimmune response, which damages the lining of the small intestine. More than 55 diseases have been linked to gluten. The main problem is that gluten intolerance remains undetected in most cases. In fact, it's estimated that 99% of the people who have gluten intolerance are never diagnosed. But there are certain signs that can help you determine whether or not you're gluten intolerant. And in today's video, we'll tell you what they are. From anemia, rashes, migraine, fatigue to brain fog and more. Watch till the end to learn about all of them. Number one, bloating and stomach pain. Bloating generally refers to the feeling of the stomach being swollen or full of gas after you've eaten. It's one of the most common complaints of patients who are sensitive or intolerant to gluten. There are a myriad of reasons for abdominal discomfort. If you regularly experience this pain directly after eating gluten without any other apparent causes, you may be intolerant. What foods cause bloating every time you eat them? Tell us quickly down below in the comment section. Number two, anemia. Iron deficiency or anemia is a well-documented symptom of gluten intolerance in scientific studies. In fact, research suggests that it may often be the first noticeable symptom and that up to 75% of those with anemia may be gluten intolerant. Gluten intolerance can interfere with the uptake of iron from food, causing malabsorption. Number three, rash. Dermatitis may occur if you have a gluten intolerance. Antibodies released from gluten deposit under the first layer of skin, causing groups of watery, itching blisters. This condition may be the only sign of gluten intolerance in some people. Symptoms include patches of itchy skin that are often painful to the touch. Skin problems commonly develop on the elbows, knees, buttocks, face, scalp, and shoulders. Number four, fatigue. Gluten causes the destruction of tiny finger-like projections inside the small intestine called villi in people with celiac disease. Villi are essential for nutrient absorption. When too many are damaged, malnourishment and lack of energy may occur. You may experience bouts of fatigue or suffer from long-term chronic fatigue with gluten intolerance. Once a gluten-free diet is established, villi are often able to heal and nutrient absorption increases, which may help relieve fatigue over time. Number five, bone problems. Thinning bones and osteoporosis may occur in people with a long-standing history of undiagnosed celiac disease. This is due to a lack of calcium absorption. You may experience other joint problems, including joint pain and arthritis. Children with undiagnosed celiac disease may suffer from stunted growth. Number six, leg or arm numbness. Another surprising symptom of gluten intolerance is neuropathy, which includes numbness or tingling in the arms and legs. This condition is common in individuals with diabetes and vitamin B12 deficiency. It can also be caused by toxicity and chronic alcohol misuse. However, some research suggests that individuals with celiac disease could also be at a higher risk of developing neuropathy due to the presence of certain antibodies. Interested yet? Make sure you join our millions of followers and hit that subscribe button for all our great bestie content. Number seven, migraines. Headaches are one of those nondescript symptoms that can go along with a wide variety of medical problems. However, migraines that are combined with daily stomach issues, low iron and a skin rash paint a different picture. And if it starts within an hour or two of eating food that contains gluten, it's highly indicative of a gluten sensitivity. Number eight, lactose intolerance. Gluten intolerance is also sometimes found coinciding with lactose intolerance. This is an inability to break down a sugar called lactose that's found in milk and other dairy products. If you know you have trouble digesting dairy combined with other symptoms on our list, it might be time to think about eliminating gluten. Number nine, digestion issues. Digestion issues such as gas, diarrhea, and constipation may also point to gluten intolerance. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms regularly after eating gluten, you should definitely take note. The majority of people who are gluten sensitive regularly experience diarrhea, which can lead to larger issues like dehydration and fatigue. That said, one of the best things you can do is to be aware of how your body responds to certain foods. Number 10, unexplained weight loss. 
An unexplained weight change is often a cause for concern. Although it can stem from various reasons, unexplained weight loss is a common side effect of undiagnosed gluten intolerance. In a study of gluten intolerance patients, two-thirds had lost weight in the six months leading up to their diagnosis. The weight loss may be explained by a variety of digestive symptoms coupled with poor nutrient absorption. Number 11. Depression and Anxiety Anxiety disorders are believed to affect approximately 33% of people worldwide. Anxiety involves feelings of worry, nervousness, unease, and agitation. It often goes hand in hand with depression. Individuals with gluten intolerance seem to be more prone to anxiety and depression than individuals without any underlying conditions. In one study, up to 40% of individuals with self-reported gluten intolerance stated that they regularly experienced anxiety. They usually feel better with a gluten-free diet and want to continue it, even if their digestive systems aren't entirely resolved. That suggests that gluten exposure on its own may induce feelings of depression, regardless of digestive symptoms. Number 12. Dental Problems Discolored teeth, frequent mouth sores, or enamel defects are oral signs of gluten intolerance. In some cases, recurring canker sores may even be the only noticeable symptom, and as many as 25% of sufferers report having them. You may also notice yellow or brown spots on your teeth or pitting and ridges on the surfaces. Children with celiac disease are prone to dental caries or even delayed tooth eruption. Unfortunately, some oral problems, like diminished enamel, are irreversible. But going gluten-free can often prevent further damage and, in certain cases, improve the condition of the mouth. Apart from going gluten-free, there are many other ways you can improve the health of your teeth. Learn more of what we're talking about by watching 11 Ways to Strengthen Your Teeth. Now back to surprising signs you're gluten intolerant. Number 13. Brain Fog there is no medical definition of foggy brain, but you likely know how it feels. Being tired even though you just woke up, thoughts coming to you slowly, tripping over your words, and trouble concentrating are a few signs of it. Symptoms may also include forgetfulness, headaches, anxiety, and confusion. On a cellular level, brain fog is believed to be caused by high levels of inflammation and changes to three primary hormones, dopamine, serotonin, and cortisol. According to a study, those dealing with chronic fatigue, celiac disease, gluten intolerance symptoms, or other food allergies are most likely to experience this. Number 14. Fibromyalgia Some experts believe fibromyalgia is a symptom, not a disease. Inflammation of the connective tissue is one of the strongest symptoms of gluten intolerance. Essentially, the body thinks gluten is an enemy and will send out antibodies to destroy it. Those antibodies destroy the lining of the stomach and intestines. Just like with joint pain, the inflammation could present itself in any part of the body. If a doctor told you that you have fibromyalgia, try eliminating gluten and see how you feel. Is there a formal way to diagnose gluten intolerance? It is essential to ensure first that a more severe condition such as celiac disease or a wheat allergy is not present if gluten intolerance is suspected. Taking a blood sample, which is then analyzed to detect the presence of antibodies, could indicate celiac disease or a wheat allergy. Once a doctor has ruled out a more serious condition, it can still be difficult for them to confirm whether gluten intolerance is present, as there are no tests for this. The most common method people use to determine if gluten intolerance is present is to reduce or remove gluten and monitor any changes. It can help to keep a food diary and record what foods you're consuming and what symptoms follow. Are gluten intolerance and wheat allergy the same? No, these two are not the same. When a person has a wheat allergy, their body reacts to a protein in wheat which could be more than just gluten. A wheat allergy can cause life-threatening symptoms. Anyone with this allergy who ingests wheat requires immediate medical attention. A person with a wheat allergy may develop hives, swelling and breathing difficulties. In severe cases, anaphylaxis may develop. This serious reaction causes blood pressure to fall and the person may lose consciousness or stop breathing. While an allergic reaction requires urgent care, an intolerance is not immediately dangerous. However, it can cause discomfort and may affect a person's overall health. One of the most common symptoms of gluten intolerance is digestive issues. Learn how you can tackle them by finding out ways to clean gut bacteria, or understanding powerful tips to improve your digestion naturally. So go ahead and watch one or both of these videos. Are you or anyone you know gluten intolerant? Let us know in the comment section below.